Yeah. Do I have off days and good days with uh, Tourette's? <laughs> Do I know when to see? No, I, I don't like wake up and be like, oh fuck! Some people don't believe that I have it, which is, that's mind-boggling and like ignorance. It's crazy that you, like, here's the thing. When I was younger, I got picked on a lot for having it because kids spot it right away and they fucking hit you in the face. And then you go, oh, I have it. And then I became an adult and people are like, and I talk about it on stage and if you don't see me twitch for a certain amount of time, even in my videos, sometimes I don't twitch where I post videos on like YouTube and shit. People are like, oh, I never saw you twitch. You don't have dreads. Uh, bitch, it's called editing. And I'm selling my half hour special, which is dope, means a lot to me. And then this shirt, which I love. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the love, it says, I got 99 problems, but a Twitch ain't one. <laughs> Pretty popular. Some of the white people are confused. Explain it. <laughs> Yo, it's that shirt. That, like, it means a lot. You know what means a lot to me is because that's how I feel about my life, right? A lot of people think when you're growing up, I thought. Tourette's syndrome was a curse, and obviously uh, I got confident with it, and I owned it, and I became who I am, and I feel like uh, it's a blessing now. And, and the, biggest, the biggest blessing to me, honestly, is the amount of messages I got after AGT from parents who have kids with Tourette's syndrome. It was an insane amount, like crazy amount. Because I never met somebody with Tourette's until I became like 20 years old. And then when I got an AGT, yo, it was like thousands and thousands of messages. And I was like, where the fuck have you guys been? <laughs> They're all hiding and shit in Montana or something. It's crazy. Uh, but the best message I got was a mom was like, my son has been picked on every single day in school for having Tourette's syndrome. And he watched your episode last night on AGT and it changed his life. And he went to school the next day and kids came up to him and they were like, typical Dan, you have Tourette's, ha ha ha, pushing, shoving him. And finally, he punched back and he was like, I don't have Tourette's, I have swag, bitch. And he walked away. <laughs>